this looks because I'm outside and I can't see my screen because it's too bright. Greetings fellow Earthlings, my name is Amber and today I'm in my backyard because the weather is too nice not to make a video out here and I have the first part of my lunch and we are going to talk about how and why I decided to go vegan. So a little bit of a backstory as my dog walks down the stairs in front of me. I've been raised in a meat-eating, dairy-loving Christian home since I was born. So it's something that I was brought up on. It wasn't like I was raised in the vegan community in any way. When I was in fourth grade, I had a teacher named Mrs. Quintero, and she was the most amazing lady ever. She is still my favorite teacher to this day. But she really introduced me to the world of vegetarianism and veganism and really just the cruelty that happens within the meat industry. And at that point, when I was 10 years old in the fourth grade, I really just wanted to be a vegan. So I came home and I told my mom that I wanted to be a vegan. and she freaked out. She took me to the doctor and was like, she wants to be vegan, what do we do? And the doctor, horribly misinformed woman, this pediatrician, licensed doctor, told me that I needed to be eating meat and dairy products in order to develop properly. And if I wasn't eating meat and dairy, and I did adopt a vegan diet, I would have to come in every two weeks to get my blood tested, to get my blood drawn, to get tested. And if my levels weren't normal, I would have to be force fed through a tube in order to get my levels back to normal. Not like I could just go and eat whatever I needed to eat. No, I would be force fed through a tube in order to get my levels back to normal. So obviously that right away like completely turned me off from veganism. I was like, ooh, I don't want that to happen, like, no, it's okay. I don't know. And she was like, well, you can be a vegetarian, but you have to eat fish. I was like, at that time, I didn't know what pescatarianism was, which is what that is. <laughs> so I just thought I was a vegetarian the whole 10 years that I was eating fish. Yeah, I didn't know what pescatarianism was until recently. Actually, I thought that I was a vegetarian the whole time. I wasn't. <laughs> Fast forward nine years later, I've been eating a pescatarian diet since I was 10. Me and my dad kind of go on juice fast every now and then um, to kind of reboot our systems. The first one that I went on was three days long and the second one I went on was seven. And I just kind of knew like at the end of the seven days I didn't really want to go back to eating the way I was. And there really was no need for it. I didn't really have a place for those things in my diet anymore. And throughout the whole seven days I was kind of like, hey dad, like I think I might just go vegan after this if that's okay with you. Um, like maybe you could do it with me and he was like yeah I don't know whatever and I was like okay well like it's probably something that I'm gonna do just so you know and of course my mom freaked out again so we went to my new doctor because we had um, like an insurance company switch whatever my doctor just kind of looked at me and she was like are you getting enough protein I was like yeah she's like are you getting your omega-3s I was like yeah she's like cool I'm a vegan too I was like what <laughs> like my old doctor was so against veganism rude and now, like, my new doctor is a vegan, and I thought that that was really, really cool. It was just nice to be welcomed into the community in that way, and um, just have a healthcare professional be like, good for you, like, I'm, I'm a vegan too, I'm right there with you. Just, it, the whole thing was just so seamless, and it was just the right time, I think, for me to adopt a vegan diet. Because after I got off the juice fast, I didn't want really, I didn't even want to eat bread, like, I was just really wanting to eat salad and like raw fruit and vegetables and this wholesome good food and I mean I'm still like that now sometimes I do like want to eat pasta just because I really like pasta still <laughs> yeah at first it was for health reasons and I was like you know cancer rates and heart disease and heart attacks and all this other stuff like I I don't want that in my life like I just want to take every precaution I just did it for health reasons and that's been my mindset for three or four months and it isn't wasn't what <laughs> and it wasn't until recently that I made the connection again that same connection that I made when I was 10 years old that there is cruelty happening in the meat industry and now it's kind of becoming it is becoming more than just a diet to me it's becoming an animal rights issue a human rights issue a global warming issue it's like I yeah it's just becoming so much more than just a diet to me I'll never force someone to be a vegan. Um, I'll just give them the facts and 
like my kids once I raise my kids in that way like if once they decide when they're old enough to if they want to eat meat and dairy like I'll I'm gonna have to be okay with it like that's fine it's not my decision but when I have the opportunity to raise people and to teach people about what actually happens and what's actually good for you then I'm gonna take that opportunity any day that I can that's where I'm at and I hope you guys enjoyed this video Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you like springtime and sunshine and strawberries. And leave a comment down below if you are also a vegan or if you have any advice or anything for a newbie like me. <laughs> yeah, I post videos usually every Friday even though this video isn't going to go up on a Friday. It's Sunday. That's okay. Um, but yeah, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. Let me know in the comments if you want me to post any more videos about veganism and stuff. So, yep. Thanks again for watching as a ginormous gust of wind comes. Um, and I will see you guys next week. I didn't know that marshmallows weren't vegetarian until like, a, like six months ago probably. Like I just, I didn't know that. Like. Why, why is everyone driving their nice cars today?